know that song, right? It's from the musical The Bodyguard, based on the hit movie about a bodyguard hired to protect a superstar from a stalker. As fate would have it, to fall in love. The musical opened last night on stage at the Benenham Center, and the bodyguard himself is our guest this morning. We want to welcome Judson Mills, who plays Frank Farmer in this national tour of The Bodyguard. Thank you for having me, Pittsburgh. <laughs> How was the show last it night? It was great. And Pittsburgh was lit. You guys were rowdy. And you've already been around the country. Yeah, we've been all over. We've done almost 45 cities now. We've wow. been out since 2016. That's great. Yeah. I really wanted to ask you how you got the role because there's a kind of interesting story yeah, behind this. Yeah, so, so um, the, when you adapt a screenplay to the stage, it's called The Book. So the gentleman that wrote the book for this, uh, his name is Alex Dinalaris. Mm -hmm. You might know him from Birdman. Uh, he won the Oscar a couple years ago for Birdman. Wrote On Your Feet, which is now touring and on Broadway. But he was my college roommate. Yeah. So when they couldn't find the bodyguard, they had Deborah attached and you know, a year or so had gone by. He uh, gave me a call and said, hey, would you want to travel by any chance? And so we put some stuff on an iPhone in his hotel room, and here I am. Wow. And you, you kind of got your start in theater, but you, you've yes. done so much TV. Mostly all television and film, yeah. I went to the American Academy of Dramatic Arts. Uh, shout out to the alma mater. <laughs> uh, and, I, and I was at a theater school, uh, major in a school in Miami with Alex, which is where I met him. Uh, and I did a little off-Broadway after that. And then went right into TV and film, and I've been doing that ever since. And people might remember you from As the World Turns. You yes, that was my very there. first job. Yes, yeah. As the World I was Hutch, the shirtless, sweaty farm boy. <laughs> well, soap operas, they need one of those, don't they? Of course. Of course. Well, let's Happy talk, to do it. <laughs> let's talk about The Bodyguard. For people who may not remember the movie or it's right. been so long, yes. uh, what's the storyline with it? Uh, the storyline is there is a uh, pop diva star uh, played by Whitney Houston originally in the movie, played right. by uh, Deborah Cox now. Now, and she uh, has a stalker that uh, it becomes somewhat dangerous and kind of scary. And so her team, uh, without her knowing, hires a Secret Service guy who's supposed to be the best in the business to protect her. Uh, they butt heads. There's some alpha problems that they have. <laughs> and then ultimately they fall in love uh, and Bodyguard saves the day. So there's a lot, of, a lot of singing and dancing. Yes. How Deborah, do you fit into Deborah that? Deborah Cox is the truth. You need to come, if for no other reason than to hear her sing these Whitney songs, you need to come to this show. But um, I do a little singing and, and <laughs> a little dancing. Um, it is, I guess you might call the comic relief of the show. <laughs> I won't say anything more. you got to come see it. But um, it's fun. <laughs> Something about karaoke, right? There's yes, a there's little a karaoke dare. song. Yeah, I do a version of I Will Always Love You that... Uh, I don't know if Dolly or Whitney would be too proud of it, but um, right because I always people I will seem always, to like it. <laughs> I will always love you is originally yeah, written, by, written Dolly, by Dolly Parton. Right? That's yeah. right. Yeah, and then adapted yeah. by Whitney Houston. Yeah. Now you said Deborah Cox actually was friends with Whitney. Yeah, they they had a friendship, and and uh, Deborah uh, was mentored to some degree by Whitney, and they did a duet together at one point in time. So there's a lot of interesting history and full circle stuff about this about this show. So I know this was a huge hit. In London, the bodyguard, yes, and yeah. that's kind of how it came. Yeah, to the oddly States. enough, it was a, the, uh, it was originally done by a London team, uh, and then uh, after some years of success and whatnot over there, they got around to doing an American cast. So we're very proud of our version <laughs> of the bodyguard, which is interesting since it's an American. That's movie, right, American but, story. Yeah, American story. Um, and so, what's the hopes that this continues on? Just a couple cities left. You'll be heading down to right. Florida. Yeah. Uh, hopes to get it to Broadway We'll maybe? see. I mean, the hope is always Broadway, sure. Uh, it'd be a whole lot of fun. Uh, there's so many things that go into it and that are involved. We'll see politics and this, that, and the other, but I've got my fingers crossed. Is it is it nice for you to be back on the stage where you kind of got everything Yeah, started? it's a lot more than I thought it was going <laughs> to be um, when I signed up, but it's wonderful. I mean, the, the biggest part is the audiences, you know, having right. 2,500 people or 3,500 people, these beautiful old theaters, uh, and having them engaged with you and hollering and yelling you know, we had a, we have some rowdy crowds that come out and want to get involved. And Deborah breaks the fourth wall a lot when she sings, so that the right. audience is included, kind of in the process, as though they're really the audience in that venue at that time. Yeah. So um, it, people get invested and and really par participate, which we love. I was going to ask you about that. So are, do fans sing? Because I would yeah. I would find myself singing yes. if I was. No, there. she yeah. tries to include uh, yeah. the audience uh, on several different songs. Uh, and then there's a finale, which, you know, don't leave before the finale, everybody. Um, <laughs> and you're busy on stage. You're in almost yeah, every single thing. scene. Yeah, from start to finish. Lots of changes, lots of stuff. It's. Um, this is the finale right oh, now. Oh, yeah, there you go. Seeing... 
Yeah. Oh my goodness. And look, everybody's up on their feet. Yeah, the dancers are phenomenal. The band is amazing. It's a really, there's there's a lot of laughs in this, which there weren't in this film. So you get a little bit of everything. There's the suspense and there's a lot of danger in it. It's scary at times, you know? Yeah. Um, but uh, you get your money's worth for, <laughs> for this ticket. Well, I also want to say welcome to Pittsburgh. You've never been here before. No, no. So I have family here. Hey, Heather. TJ. Oh, hi, family. Yeah, they're coming tonight. And you're not, you, you grew up not far from here in D.C. Yeah, outside D.C. And I thought this was so interesting when I was reading up on your bio before you got here. Oh. You actually grew up in a house yeah. built by George Washington. The story goes <laughs> that, um, that George Washington, when, before he was president, when he was like a young surveyor in the area or something, he helped to build the house I grew up in. It's a little old stone house. So neat. Grew up heating our house with wood and deer hunting and fishing. <laughs> Very cool stuff. Bonafide country boy. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us this morning. It was thank a pleasure you. to have you. And the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust and PNC Broadway uh, series in Pittsburgh presents The Bodyguard on stage now through Sunday at the Benetton Center. For showtimes and tickets, go to kdk.com slash PTL.